now let's see how to install elixir so what you can do is you can just go to this website which is elixirlang.org and you can simply click on install and if you're using windows you can click on windows so from here you can download the installer and as the instruction already says you have to simply click on next next and finally finish and uh, if you are on a mac you can simply use brute install elixir so if you are on a mac you can open up a terminal and you can type brew install and elixir and once you have installed elixir what i want you to do is uh, just open up a terminal or if you are using windows just open up your powershell and here you can simply type elixir and hyphen v so as you can see i'm currently running elixir 1.14.1 and if you are watching this video in the future, you may have some other version. But don't worry, all of the things which I teach you right now, they are going to work in future versions as well. The next thing for this video is, let us open up our Visual Studio Code and let us set up the Elixir plugin for this one. So just open up your extensions and I want you to just search for Elixir. So this extension, which is for Elixir LS, so here you can see and currently it has like 339,000 downloads so just install this plugin and this is what you really need to start working with elixir inside vs code the first time you open up any elixir file inside vs code you will get a small pop-up right over here somewhere in the bottom right corner and that pop-up will be saying that uh, elixir is building the plt so just let it happen uh, it's going to take some time but let it run and after the elixir plt is built you can start working with your elixir files inside vs code